Do you have pets inside your home? Maybe a cat or a dog? They're such warm and lovely animals. They love to be fed and cuddled. Other homes have pet birds, while others take care of fishes, turtles, and guinea pigs. How about the zoo? Have you ever been to one? The zoo is home to a lot of animals, from playful monkeys to proud lions, colorful peacocks, and quiet crocodiles. They came from the wild but were saved and taken care of by humans. Other animals that come from the wild are snakes, wolves, and foxes. They live and roam free in the forest. But remember that they are wild, meaning it would be dangerous for us to approach them on our own because they are not used to seeing and being touched by us, the humans. There are also animals in farms. Have you ever been to a farm? They have animals like chickens, ducks, cows, bees, and pigs. This is where our food comes from. Eggs come from the chickens, while milk comes from the cows. Bees give us some of their sweet honey, while bacon comes from pigs. Our world is filled with many animals. Some look different while others look the same. But we will learn what they all have in common. What are our body parts? We have three main parts. The head, the trunk, and the limbs. This is also the same for animals. All animals have heads. Snakes have heads. But unlike humans and other animals, they don't have ears that stick out because theirs are hidden. They don't have hair either. Lions have heads too. Like humans, they have hair. They're called manes. Both the snake and the lion have eyes, noses, and mouths. Some animals have horns. These are the hard pointy things on the top of their heads. What are some of the animals that have horns? The carabao has horns. Some goats do too. Moose have big horns. While rhinos have thick horns. They use their horns to defend themselves from other animals and to hunt for food. All animals have trunks. The snake has one long trunk. The lion has a strong trunk. Not all animals have limbs. Some do, some don't. The snake does not have limbs. The lion has four limbs. But instead of hands, they have paws. If you look closely, you can see that your dogs and cats also have paws. How about birds? They have heads, but have beaks for mouths. They also have four limbs. But instead of arms and hands or paws, they have wings instead. They use them for flying. They have legs and feet so they can land on tree branches when they need to come down from the sky and rest. How about fish? Pet goldfish has a head and a trunk, but it only has three limbs. Instead of arms or hands, they have fins to help them swim. Instead of two legs or feet, they have one big tail. This helps them move and swim in water. Octopuses, on the other hand, have a head and trunk but have eight limbs. These are called tentacles. They use them to move around the sea and to catch their food. Most insects have six limbs. Let's take a look. This is a fly. This one's an ant. And this one's a ladybug. Let's count their little limbs. One, two, three, four, five, six. They also have a head and a trunk. Again, there are many different animals and they all look different. They have heads and trunks, but not all have the same number of limbs. It's quiz time! Why shouldn't we approach wild animals by ourselves? That's right, because they live in the wild they're not used to people and can react dangerously. What animals have horns? Goats, rhinos, moose, and carabaos all have horns. How many limbs do insects have? Correct! They have six limbs. 
What do you call the octopus's eight limbs? Right, they're called tentacles. Like this video and click the subscribe and bell buttons below for more TPK Learning videos. If you have any thoughts about today's topic, leave us a comment below.